<laughs> this mustache is insane. Bro, I, I, I was hoping. <laughs> What's up everyone? So we're out here with High Cascade session two and it's Friday and every Friday we do the coach's game of snow. Blaze won last week and so he's taking on the challenger. Gabe, Gabe man, what's your strategy going into this? Uh, strategy is to play, uh, play it safe. It's all about unforced errors. It's kind of like a game of ping pong versus Blaze. All right. Yeah. Here we go. That's go. two out of three. Oh, appreciate it. What's up, boss? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, one. Oh! All right. Start with the back five indie. All right, before we drop in, can you guys remind us of the rules of snow? Player calls the trick, has to do the trick. Yeah, if you don't do it, you get a letter. If you land it and the other guy doesn't do it, he gets a letter. Right, yep. If you, land, if you don't land it, you lose control and the other person gets to pick the next trick. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yep. So I think for the next one, we're gonna try this first little narrow little donkey rail. We're gonna go backside, or we're gonna go front side 50-50 to back three out. Oh. Is hands down, is that not a make? I think that's a miss. I think we're gonna do a 50 to just board slide down the down in the donkey. Two letters for Gabe. Yeah. Switch front three to backwards nose press to switch front three out. So it'll make more sense when you watch okay. me do it on the volcano. Go run two. We're gonna use a second jump again. We're gonna do a cab five tail grab. We're gonna play this game real straight and tight with Gabe because he's dangerous and uh, I don't like losing. Gabe, I saw you going for it, man. Is was... oh, yeah, <laughs> did you get it. it or no? Just tapped it. Not a not a full grab. Yeah, so close though. Yeah. <laughs> just to keep it interesting for entertainment value, we're just gonna do a little front three shifty over the volcano. Just to have something to look at. Cool. Yeah. I'm taking a risk here to make the game interesting. Yeah. This if I a... land this. I f and you don't, I feel fine taking the yeah. win. If I don't land it and you get control, I feel like I created an opening yeah. for you to make the game fun and yeah, fair. fair enough. So. Nice, man. Pipe doesn't count. <laughs> no. This is a game of control. Still, none of these have just been decisive like throat punches, so. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah Blaze, uh, Blaze is a man of honor. I yeah. think he's gonna take me out classy right now so we're gonna go front seven melon on this on this run win, win. So as can happen there I went for the seven I mostly got it around I rode away it wasn't the prettiest thing but I did not get the grab so Gabe takes control and here we go all right uh, we're gonna head to the big pill back one on to switch Mind if we wait for this one? No, what are you gonna do? Uh, back whip. Matt? Might be the first back whip I've ever done in my life. <laughs> nice. 51 years old. Good work. Gap the front board. Wildcat over the hip. SN? Yeah. 
SNO. SNO. Okay. We're just gonna do switchback one Indy on the first jump. On the first jump? Yep. You don't wanna do that on the second jump? So much smoother. Nope. Okay. I wanna do it on the first jump. <laughs> Front board the flat donkey. All right, uh, front 270 on to regular. Blaze has been such a gentleman this, in this game. I'm gonna do a trick that we both don't land every time. Uh, back seven tail grab on the second jump. Blaze has been generous. I have to pay that sportsmanship forward, so. That's pretty sportsmanlike. Yeah. Back seven tail grab. Okay. And then now it'll kind of be a race I for like sevens. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Blaze called his wife at the start of the game, so I thought I'd call you and say, you know, I love you, and uh, this game's for you. You're so far away. Thanks for supporting me in my endeavors. Right You're now. on YouTube right now. <laughs> it's official. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love you, and I'll see you later. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye. Being a gentleman for sure on this one, which I appreciate. Yeah, good sportsmanship all around. That's right, I agree. All right. all right, good luck, safe journey. You as well. Thank you. Hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some drama. <laughs> so, I didn't grab mine that well, but we agreed at the top that that was acceptable because I was choosing the trick that he preferred. Mm -hmm. He landed his, I landed mine. Yeah. When it was clutch, we both landed it. Clock's expired. Mm -hmm. We're gonna accept a draw. To, to be totally fair, Blaze is a pro snowboarder. Name on his board, twice my age. I. This is insane that Blaze is riding at this level, so I'm just happy to be, be able to draw with him. Well, I'm happy to be able to, at 51 years old, hang in there even close to a guy that's, what are you, 28? Yeah, 26. 28, 26, yeah. literally half my age, yeah. and works at a snowboard park. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so it was, it was a good yeah. matchup. Yeah. Good at result. Absolutely. We're, that, we're good. All right. Let's go find some campers. Yeah. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go do our job. Come on, John. We should probably get to work. Heck yeah. Yo, oh, good timing. Awesome, Mateus. <laughs> good, man. How's your morning? Oh, it was awesome. We spent the whole morning on the airbag. Cool. And eventually, it, something just clicked and I was just sending. Amazing. Just, yeah, just going really, a lot of air, really high. Yeah. I was able to land one or two tricks. I was doing the cork, like the backflip. Yeah. I was able to land that, that no trick. No way, amazing. The one that you just... 360. Rotate. Yeah. Awesome. I did one of those. Joao, that's, is that Joao? Yeah, that's Joao. Well. Should we go get him? Uh, probably. Okay. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's awesome, man. Let's yeah, let's session something. Let's save something. All right. <laughs> a good plan is to do that like a few times. Okay. Until you're like comfortable with that right side takeoff. <laughs> okay. Joao's working on his first ever tube rail feature. And we're just getting him to come off the other side to start. So now we can just kind of change the angle a little bit. Okay. Keep Landing going. on top, flat based, right to the end. Treatment and like there's no visible. Right to the end. I think on the approach, you're just a bit toe heavy, like on coming oh, off. Okay. Flat takeoff, flat landing. Okay. You got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude! Yeah! That was nice! <laughs> How'd it feel? 
Feels a little scary, but yeah, yeah I'm happy. Cool. That was awesome. Cool. Way to go. Thanks, man. All right, let's keep going. Should I be looking at the end of the rail? Is that it? Yeah, look to the end. Just a slight bit more speed. It's coming in. That was perfect. It felt really good. It was the cleanest one yet, I think. Yeah. It's very smooth. Back three. Woo! Would you guys like some goggles? Goggles? I, I, I need that. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. you, you know why, right? Dang. Yeah. Those I are, love it. Those are nice. Yeah, <laughs> are I nice. love it. Yeah. Thank you. I was in need of something. Those like that. honestly, those nice. look awesome. Yeah. They look awesome. Same, yeah. Same. yeah. So there's a mag it's magnetic too, so you can oh, just pop it, it out. Oh, this looks. Sick. That is convenient. Really? Right, so I want this. But okay, just we're so, good. Just we're so. Good. <laughs> 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 just so you know, I want this one. Perfect. But, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll give you back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Cool. What do you think High Cascade like means for your own snowboarding? And yeah. Like growing up in Utah, we only have a season, you know, that ends in April. Yeah. So I loved snowboarding and just watching like the weekly recaps was like my summer ritual. Every time those recaps would come out, I'd just get so stoked and yeah. like watch those. So what it means to me particularly is like this is uh, kind of the hub for freestyle snowboarding. Like anybody who's been anyone in snowboarding has come through this mountain and it's just insane. The amount of like uh, importance this place has on the culture, on like the freestyle of snowboarding is immense. So it's kind of like, you know, we get to carry that torch a little bit now. Awesome. Cause yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it's inspirational, but you get to mm -hmm. push your own riding and I mean, meet your like snowboard heroes and kind of like, yeah. and then also be an example too, right? To the next generation. Yep. Yeah, exactly. 